Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for yacht Nootka 2015 Bavaria 46 Cruiser. Come on board, let's show you how she works. To start the engine, make sure you are first in neutral. You can check neutral by pushing in this button in the center to disengage the gear. When you bring it back to vertical, it clicks out and is in neutral. Hold the power button on off, you will get an alarm sound. Hold down start for two seconds and release, your engine will start. To engage higher revs, push in into neutral and move forward. After starting, always make sure that you check you have water flowing out of the engine outtake. To stop the engine, bring your revs back to neutral. Hold down stop. And then turn off the panel. Very important to turn off the panel once you're finished so the electrics aren't running. For operation of the bow thruster, push and hold to turn it on. Now that the bow thruster is on, you can engage to move the bow to starboard. Push to starboard, move the bow to port, push to port. To turn this off, push and hold once. The breaker for the anchor and bow thruster is in the forward starboard cabin. If it is in this position, lateral, it is off, and here it is on. If the bow thruster or anchor control is still not working, go under the forward starboard bed, open the fuse control box, and reset the thermal fuse for the anchor windlass, or replace the ceramic fuse for the bow thruster. When raising and lowering the swim platform, make sure that the platform is completely clear, the plank is no longer on the platform, and there are no lines in the way to get caught. Operate the platform using this button here. Hold the top side to lift the platform up. Once the platform reaches this point, gravity will have it fall into the boat. So you need to put a hand on here as you bring it up to the top. At this point, be very careful not to over tighten the swim platform. When putting the swim platform down, you need to push pressure onto the platform for the first part until gravity takes over, while holding down the release button. If you don't, this will fall back inwards, so you need to push out to hold it out. Once it gets to this point past vertical, you can let it go down on its own. The platform will automatically stop when it reaches all the way down. All of the extra equipment is located in the aft lazarettes. This is the port lazarette or locker. In here we have 50 meter line, deck brush, pump for the dinghy, your third spear anchor, oars for the dinghy, baler, funnel, hose, extra dock lines, and the emergency tiller. On the starboard side, we have 10 meter line, 10 meter line, seat for the dinghy, Bucket with gloves, sponge and foghorn and extra flags, spear lines, and most importantly, the life raft. The autopilot controls are located on the port helm. Press this button for engage, and it will hold your steering. Plus one, plus two, plus three degrees to turn to starboard, or push and hold to do 10 degrees at a time. To disengage the autopilot, press standby, and then you can steer on your own.
When anchoring, make sure your engine is running so that you do not drain your batteries. And if you are lifting your anchor, that your engine revs are excited to 1500 to 2000 revs. The anchor control is located in the forward hatch anchor locker. When anchoring, remove the safety line that is attached to the anchor to hold it in place. Get out your remote. On the remote, we have two controls, up and down. When lowering your anchor, make sure you go slowly so that the anchor does not swing and hit the yacht. When lowering your anchor, watch as the chain goes out. You have colored marks at 10 meters, 20 meters, and 30 meters. Nootka has 60 meters of chain in her bow. When lifting your anchor, make sure to not strain the anchor capstan. If you feel the anchor capstan slow down and work hard, stop and wait for the boat to get closer to the anchor. When raising the anchor, do not just hold up the entire time. You need to give it a break every five seconds. If the anchor comes up twisted and round the wrong way, you need to get the boat hook Turn it the right way so that it comes up straight. Before your charter, your technician will check the condition of your sails and note any defects or problems with them on your check-in sheet. If you want to check these yourself, roll them out using at least two people and check over the sails. Take photos of anything you wish to report to the charter base. When letting the mainsail out, put the ratchet into this position, which says free. At this stage, the sail will pull out. To lock the ratchet, bring it over to here, and the sail will no longer come out. When you are winding in the sail, make sure that the ratchet is to this port side and you wind clockwise. All of your electronics are controlled from this panel here. Here you can turn on and off your sailing lights, your anchor lights, motoring, sailing, stern, bow, all of these controls are done on this section here. You also control your cabin lights forward and aft from these two buttons here. The navigation equipment and the anchor controls, stereo, water pump, shower drains, and other controls here, including the 12 volt sockets, are all controlled from here as well. You have USB imports for charging, which are 12 volt and will work when the boat is not plugged into shore power. Same with these USB charging here. This is the heater and blower controls and the stereo, which has speakers in here in the saloon and out in the cockpit. The VHF radio is connected to these controls as well and the speaker for that radio is here. The main switch for the service battery is also located here behind the cushion. Also inside the boat we have gas shutoff valves and fuel shutoff valves. To shut off your gas from the inside here, open this cupboard up above the galley and turn this to shut off. 
When it is in line, it is open. When it is crossed on the line, it is closed. This switch by the companionway steers is to shut off the power to the engine battery and the fuel cutoff is in the aft starboard cabin. This cuts off the flow of diesel to the engine in case of an emergency. safety equipment is located in this seat in the saloon. So among this equipment you have your winch handles, bolt cutters, fog horn, axe for emergencies, all of your flares are in here. This is a dry bag, safety blankets, torch, storm anchor, day shapes, first aid, tethers, harnesses, tools, bosun's chair and a fly swat. All of your life jackets will be out waiting for you to check, then you can put them away after you have double checked the numbers are there. Inside the chart table you have your charts, navigation equipment and plotting instruments along with the pilots and books for the area. And on the other side of the chart table you have the manuals and instruction booklets for the boat. Nooka has two water tanks, one in the bow and one in the aft. To control these you do this from the aft port head along with the holding tank controls. Inside the aft port head, this head has a holding tank in it and you control this by the blue lever here. When the lever is across the valve, it is closed and all of your business will stay in the holding tank. When you open this, when you're out from the shore and you're away from land, to the vertical point, that will flow through and out into the sea. Once you've flushed that through, close it off again by crossing it across the valve. The water tank changeover valves are in here. You rotate them one way to open and then the opposite way to close. Always have one closed and one open at a time. You fill each tank from a different point. One is filled from the aft underneath the step in the cockpit and the other is filled in the bow next to the forward locker with the anchor. For head or toilet operation, you have two positions that the pump can be in. This one is to take water and business out and this one is to pump in. The handle also locks in this position or unlocks in this position. First of all, pump water through the system. Once you have finished going to the toilet, you can switch this over to drain out, remove all of the water, remove all of the water and waste, flick back over to pump, You want to pump about 15 to 20 times in order to get the flow all the way up through the pipes and then down into the holding tank. Once you've finished this, switch it back over to drain, pump most of the water out for sailing and then lock the handle in position. Remember, do not put anything down the toilet other than what comes out of your body. Use the bins provided for toilet paper so that you do not clog any heads. Nooka is equipped with two toilets bathrooms with holding tanks, which is the aft port and the aft starboard. The forward starboard head runs straight through to the ocean, so only use that when you're out under sail. And the forward port is a shower only. Thank you for watching this video check-in. If you have any further questions, please contact the team here at Noah Yachting. Your technician is standing by for anything he can help you with. I hope you have a great week. See you when you get back.